Yo, what is truly good, y'all? Okay, welcome and join me in my true nature dad hat. Also got these sick sunnies from a uh, gas station, a store called Sunnies, actually. And, uh, you know, I was on a little booze run. It's a long weekend out of, out of the vibe here. You can tell I'm in the vibe. A lot of nature. But I wanted to bring you down to the dock, down to the lake. Show you the sunset. And I don't know. Let's just talk to you. This is a, uh, a different video. I don't even know what this is going to be. Maybe I'll put it in something else. But anyways, come down to the dock with me. Here we go. So ASMR in nature. ASMR ice. ASMR sunset. ASMR boat. ASMR lake. ASMR leaves. I really should do like a serious ASMR video here. Because you know what? We dark now. What's going on? Hell. It's the potential of YouTube. That's the thing. It's like you really could put up some video and it just goes like crazy. You know? And then more exposure. Get paid out. Feels nice. But uh, let me bring you guys a little bit deeper into my true life in terms of where I kind of grew up. Spent my childhood in the summer. Like I said in my videos. This is it, guys. It's amazing. Like, I can't. I'm so incredibly fortunate. So, so lucky to have this. Boom, up there is my place, uh, my dad's place. He did inherit it from my grandfather, though. My grandfather built that in, I think, like the 60s, maybe, around. And yeah, it's just we're on Lake Superior here. I'm in a true dad vibe. Let me put my sunnies on since we're. Trying to look the part. It's like I'm going portaging on a canoe. Those are kayaks, new age. But uh, yeah, that's the neighbors. And then yeah, we got the lake here. It's actually it stays pretty cold, but right now it is actually quite quite nice. So it's I mean it's super serene. We get the best sunsets here. It's insane. It dips down behind that like tree line there there's a bunch of other camps cottages over there whatever you want to call them we call it camp in northern ontario uh canada but yeah this is uh this is where i grew up for two months in the summer times my whole life for 20 years or so uh before i left to toronto and uh it feels like good to be back for sure um yeah i don't know it's weird best of both worlds maybe it's like this is, I know people say this is like an amazing thing, but the city is 20 minutes that way. And so there's like city life, which, you know, it's not crazy. The city's pretty chill too, but this is like a different life. This is a, like a summer, um, you know, easy live in. This is like luxury retirement type stuff. So anyways, I thought maybe we could catch a sunset together. Mm. <laughs> so nice of you and uh i don't know just vibe out and chill and just kind of talk and whatever and just kind of show you this because it is beautiful actually funny i have some funny stories about see that little island right there technically my stepbrothers um their family was quite uh you know big fish in a small pond we'll we'll say it and uh that's technically they own that island because their camp is down here but so their dad and everybody but my stepbrothers technically own that island and it's called granny's island and it's literally just this little piece and whatever but we used to tent out there uh when we were like you know 12 13 14 uh when we first got into smoking weed and we would like steal like a few smirnoff ice and you know get like our joints and shit rolled up and then we'd like paddle boat or canoe and we'll go out with the tent and everything and we used to set up there and have like just that like young first time getting like not first time getting high but just like when you you know it's all still innocent and new and it's like you're 14 you're just you're smoking and you're having a little buzz and you're making uh <laughs> You know, you're making the s'mores and you're just laughing your ass off. But you have your own little island. You're in the middle of, of water. And it's just you and your, your your boys, like, couple boys, like, best friend, stepbrother, just chilling in the tent. Like, pretty funny. So, a lot of, uh, lot of classic times to be had here. This bench is a good place it's just to sit 
which I'm gonna do now. Yes, oh, what's that? That's a blue herring. So those are pretty popular around here, herrings. Pretty big wingspan, they stand pretty tall when you actually see them, but yeah, it's a blue herring, sweet, that's cool. I like those guys, but yeah, look at this sunset, the skyline. Anyways, this is a great place to sit and just kind of look out. Take some deep breaths, think about it all, contemplate what it is, why it is, but also just be grateful. And uh, that's something that I definitely have to probably say on this video is like, I'm just incredibly grateful for a lot of things. I'm very, very lucky um, to have just the family that I do, the support that I have. I like, I know I was going through a weird time and you guys, and even through you guys too. And it's like, you guys always wish me like, well, and I hope you're doing well. And you kind of see me go through these like tumultuous, like weird times that are like stressful on my mindset. And you guys are always hitting me up with the, with the, I hope you're doing well and blessings and stuff. And it's like, I wish the same for you as well. So thank you for always being like that dope to me. Cause I want the same for you. Cause I want, I just, all I want is people to be happy and, and healthy and, and, um, you know, not going through the, the, the thick of it too much because you know, life can get intense, but we're supposed to experience these things as well. So it's like, that, that's fine. These are things that help us grow and make us, you know, more wake up to, to what's important and things like that. So, but anyways, I, basically I'm saying thank you for that, but also just know this, I'm incredibly like, I will always be okay. Like I don't, I have such a, an amazing family system. There's so many people that will have my back at all times and it's like I would never be hard up for anything like I just it's more what I stress and 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 what's hard is like finding my footing in what I want to do for my life like my journey and just finding myself like and doing the thing that I love because I don't want to live in a fake like I don't want to live the rest of my life hating my life like trading my my hours to go to these thing these jobs and stuff that I hate like but I'm practicing patience I know I'm gonna get where I'm gonna get to where it's all gonna be good I know that you know there's the plan and there's all good stuff in store for me it's just that I have to continue following my truth and I feel eventually it'll be all fine so anyways I'm back in this city and it's amazing like don't get me wrong but it's just catch-22 type stuff it's like you know, the grass is greener on the other side. Like you see this, you think of the city or like, oh my God, I would never want to live in an insane Toronto. But at the same time, conversely here, it's like the population is 120,000. I see people all the time. There are old faces that there's a lot of community like drama here. Like everybody kind of knows each other's business. You're not meeting like new people all the time. You see the same people over and over again. And there's something about me where when I went to the city, I love, I just, for me, it's like, I love growing as a person and I love meeting new humans and I love anonymity as well. Like when I li was li living in Toronto, it's like I could go out and I guarantee in that night, it's like, I don't really know many people. I do see some, some faces around, but I don't know all these people and their drama and they're like, uh, you know, this girlfriend did this, cheated with who and, <laughs> and all this dumb, stupid stuff. And, um, and and then also in that same fact, it's like when I go out in Toronto, it's like, I know, I know for sure, for certain, especially with my personality, I'm going to meet new people that like are captivating to my mind, like having really interesting conversations, connecting like that. And the other thing too is in Toronto, it's like people are from everywhere in the world. Like, so it's like, you just get these deeper, longer, um, like six points of contact, like or whatever, right? Everybody's just like what I don't know what that thing is but it's like everybody's six people away from knowing everybody or something like that that thing so it's like just but then you live here and it's like oh well everything's so much more chill it's easier it's cheaper um all that stuff but it's like I don't know it's like there's a mindset here of very much like I don't want to say give up or settling or anything like that but it's just people who have accepted that it's like they're in they're more down for a simple journey like they're just they want they're just checking the boxes 
and making it work and staying within the, the boundaries and something for me on a soul level as i say that just like this is speaking to my soul though to be honest i don't know on like a soul level i just i know that i'm i don't know if i'm not i don't want to say built for more destined for more i just i feel like i'm gonna die inside a little bit or totally if i don't like keep growing and 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 going on these weird adventures and you know just trying to it's really about growth and like and new exciting things that like it's almost like figuring out problems makes life more fun right like and learning how to deal with new intense situations like i feel like here it just it's it's so like repetition and it's like at at a certain age it's like i have so much more life to live i feel like this would be dope as a retirement thing for sure like when i'm set up and everything's cool and i really am just old and want to take it easy i totally get this but for me it's like it's so journey based and like growth based and boundary pushing based it's i'm just not built for that standard life it's just it's not for me like i don't and maybe one day it will be but not right now and i just know there's things that i i need to accomplish and can do and i i want to become i want to say i want to at the end of my life when i'm laying on my deathbed or whatever if if it goes down like that because we all hey you could get snuffed out in some random shit real quick but if it goes down like that and i'm laying in a bed and i'm thinking back on my life it's like did i pursue my truth did i access my soul did i follow my soul intuition my my inner compass my guide it's like we already know everything about ourselves it's just that you we have we we have to have the balls the courage to access it recognize it and go for it for better or for worse because it's just like why would you want it's like as far as i know i get one one good go here right and it's like why would i not follow my navigational inner compass it's like your your heart your soul whatever it is it knows what it wants you already know everything that you want it's just that you have to take the moment to access that and allow it to be like so many people are just so like afraid to go against the grain or trapped in the box and or like you know they're they're serving to to please their parents and stuff it's like no man your parents are holding you back most likely because they have this whole and that's the whole th weird thing about being a parent. Like, I would never be like that, a parent, that, like that as a parent. It's just it, a lot of parents have this whole life planned out for you. And it's like, ugh, that's gross. Like, your parents should just be like, let you become who you are. Like, you can't be living for other people. You can't be appeasing other people. And, and that's the thing. Like, I just don't believe you should be working for other people, really. At least for me, it's like, I just want to be the commander-in-chief of my sovereign body and soul. Like, I want to be completely responsible for everything that I do in this life. You know, I want to be financially stable and all good off of my own thing. Like, I, I didn't... And, you know, I... I work jobs, I've worked lots of jobs, I still work jobs, like I still do things I don't really love to do. I know what real life is, trust me. Uh, living in Toronto uh, for six months of the year when I work the double jobs, plus make YouTube videos, everything else that I do, I go to a bartending shift and a shift at, at the Rogers Center, I leave the house at 11 a.m., I don't get home till 3 a.m. That's a like 15 hour day between two jobs. You know, I know, and then I make YouTube videos and all that stuff on top of it. I know what real life is. I know what grinding is. Trust me. I'm out here just like any other man trying to, trying to just survive, make it and be my best self. But you know, school wasn't, isn't the root, wasn't the root. I, I really think school's pretty brutal unless it's like very specific, lawyer, doctor, etc. But It's just whatever, whatever's inside of me that I need to do, it definitely has nothing to do with school. It has everything to do with myself creating my world for myself. Because we all have that potential, we all have that possibility. You just create your world. Like anything that you decide in yourself that you put pressure to and get up and do, get up and do, just do it. Anything you do, it's going to warrant a response it's going to get a 
energy flow back, right? It's all, it's like what you put out, you get. So it's like, if I'm, if you're going hard and you pick something and you go for it, it's like, you're going to get a response as long as you're consistent and do it and do it and do it. So I don't know what this video just turned into very like nature motivational, but I just kind of wanted to bring you guys down, show you what's up, show you where I'm at show you that everything's good everything's fine i'm chilling i hope you guys are chilling and doing well and you know inside of yourself you're, you're you're keeping it good and keeping it keeping it moving keeping it grinding keeping keeping on on purpose on passion and uh yeah i just that's really it i just i don't know i just wanted to like say what up check in have just a talk and um you know if you're struggling or whatever just get back to yourself pursue yourself and uh, I'd be grateful for, for, for what you have for sure. Cause, and that's, that's what this whole video, I guess, really is about too, is just, this is really being grateful of having all you guys and also my family, my support system, my friends that are from back in the day here. It's like, you know, friends that you've had since you were diapers. It's like no one else will ever know you like that ever. And they all, it never changes. They're always your best guys. They're always your best people. And they've got your back a million percent. Like the uh, the intensity of the of the deep love that I felt from my old school friends, like my elementary school friends, is it can't it can't be replaced. It can't be exchanged. Everybody knows this. Like who we all have those people. Yeah, just wanted to uh, say what up, check in, show you guys. A piece of my childhood and there's plenty more to come i definitely want to like document a bunch more out here but you know it's early august we still got a lot of summer left and uh, i'm definitely going to do some stuff i want to like eat in the bush like asmr eating in the bush like some weird videos so anyways stay stay tuned also stay true and you got to eat good and live well as well so okay love you guys peace